नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल टुडे वील डिस्कस द ओपिनियन पोल ओपिनियन पोल दैट टाइम्स नाउ सी वोटर्स हैड जस्ट रिसेंटली अनाउंस्ड लेट्स टॉक अबाउट व्हाट दे फील एंड हाउ द फाइव असेंबली स्टेट्स हाउ द फाइव स्टेट्स आर गोइंग टू फेयर इन द असेंबली इलेक्शंस सो दैट्स द फर्स्ट थिंग वील टॉक अबाउट वील आल्सो ट्राई एंड कंपेयर इट टू हाउ दे डिड लास्ट टाइम अराउंड सो वी विल ट्राई एंड फिगर आउट हु वन एंड हु इज गेनिंग एंड हु इज लूजिंग स्पेशली अकॉर्डिंग टू द ओपिनियन पोल माइंड यू इट्स जस्ट ओपिनियन पोल देयर इज नो फाइनलिटी टू दिस दिस कुड बी एब्सोल्युटली रॉन्ग वी हैव सीन अ लॉट ऑफ ओपिनियन पोल्स गोइंग रॉन्ग बट ठीक है इट इज इट इज इट गिव्स यू सम काइंड ऑफ अ डायरेक्शन इट गिव्स यू सम काइंड ऑफ एन अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ व्हाट इज गोइंग ऑन ग्राउंड सो दैट्स व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टुडे दैट्स पॉइंट नंबर 1 पॉइंट नंबर 2 आई एम गोइंग टू स्पेंड 5 मिनट्स ऑन अ लॉट ऑफ टॉक्स अबाउट इज राहुल गांधी is rahul gandhi doing the right thing by acting the way he is acting or behaving the way he is behaving or 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 or, or doing what he is doing down south uh, you know is he doing the right thing because a lot of experts says that are bhai kya kar rahe ho you know ghar jal raha hai aur aap udhar tamasha kar rahe ho so there there some people say that and uh, uh, well we have a different opinion let's talk about that too so two topics let's get right into the show so without much ado let's get right into the uh, opinion poll uh, according to times now see voters opinion poll west bengal they feel that tmc may get 154 seats out of 294 seats bjp may get 107 seats out of 294 seats and left congress isf would get 33 seats out of 200 94 seats so according to this particular numbers it is tmc that is going to form the government now what we need to understand here is uh, according to this figures if this is the figures that's going to happen one can definitely say that yeah okay tmc gets a hat trick they form the government the third time but i think the winner in this case would be bharatiya janata party because if you see the last election of 2016 tmc trinamool congress had won 211 seats where here we are talking about 154 seats the clear differentiation of around 60 seats bharatiya janata party had just won 3 seats 3 seats and they are talking about 107 seats which is a huge victory if you remember in my editorial uh, a few days back i had said if Bharatiya Janata Party crosses the mark of 100 Bharatiya Janata Party should be seen as a winner for the simple reason that they have done a fabulous job and they have established their 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 presence and their dominance in West Bengal now it is a matter of time then so if this is the figure that is going to come through i think things are going to be while again like i said tmc would come back Uh, make a hat trick but the fact remains that bjp will have a fantastic hold from 3 seats to 107 seats two losers definitely one would be bms tmc and the second would be congress because congress themselves won 44 seats last time and this time left congress is have put together they assume it's only going to be 33 seats so if you have to look at it from a sheer definition perspective polls only give you direction so the direction that you are talking about is that the uh, tmc is going to win the election uh, but well i mean uh, if you go by this poll then uh, bjp is doing fabulously well and uh, uh, bjp uh, will make a mark uh, for itself in uh, west bengal so i'm sure if this are the figures that finally come through i think people in uh, the bharatiya janata party's office would be very very excited let's go to the next state which is tamil nadu tamil nadu they saying upa would get around 158 seats upa would be dmk and congress plus that's upa would be getting around 158 seats nda that is aidmk bjp plus would be getting around 65 seats and others would be getting around 11 seats clearly clearly saying uh, upa that is dmk and congress plus is the clear winner will form the next government in tamil nadu again total number of seats here 
mind you like i say like i said before i say this again the direction is shown and the direction says that it is going to be a upa led government a upa government which is a dmk led government in tamil nadu last time around dmk had won 88 seats and congress 8 seats so last time around upa had won around 96 seats together and this time they are talking about 150 Eight seats, so that's a fantastic growth for the UPA. ADMK had won one thirty-five seats on their own, so BJP had done nothing. So this time around, they are getting sixty-five uh, seats, so that's a fall from where where they were. So the gainer here in Tamil Nadu is definitely the DMK and Congress Plus. Now let's go to Kerala. Kerala is a surprise because uh, Kerala, typically in the state of Kerala, goes TikTok. because you have ldf then you have udf for 5 years then you have ldf for 5 years then you have udf for 5 years so it's actually goes tiktok in kerala but somewhere down the line this time around according to the survey according to the polls ldf may get a second run ldf may get a second run prinaray vijayan and shailaja teacher may get the second run in kerala and ldf is tipped to get 82 seats according to the opinion poll udf that is congress plus uh, congress uh, uh, muslim league plus is predicted to get 56 seats and bjp one seat like they got last time and others one let us go to uh, what happened last time in kerala last time LDF had got 91 seats uh, in Kerala, so they are falling short by that. Uh, they are they are this time around they are talking about 82 seats. UDF has got had got 47 seats last time, so UDF is actually doing better than what they did last time with 56 seats. But yet they are nowhere close to making the government. And BJP last time also got one seat, and according to the opinion poll, this time also. they are tip to get one seat so that's kerala for you mind you kerala has rahul gandhi as mp rahul gandhi's seat vayanad is in kerala so rahul gandhi has been doing a lot of campaigning in kerala and if kerala udf didn't do well it is going to have direct ramification on rahul gandhi and his campaign definitely there is uh, there will be a referendum on rahul gandhi uh, uh, to a certain extent uh, so yes if this are the, these are the figures and if udf doesn't do well in kerala definitely rahul gandhi will be answerable to a major extent so that's uh, as far as kerala is concerned now let's go to assam assam last time bjp had got 60 uh, congress had got 26 this time around it seems different because nda bjp plus seems to be getting 67 and upa plus which last time they had got 26 this time they are looking at 57 according to the opinion poll upa plus hoping to do well in assam upa plus would include congress uh, plus parties and uh, others uh, are two so that's what assam looks like puducherry uh, the tides are going to change uh, according to the opinion poll bjp plus that is aia dmk plus uh, would get 18 seats and upa plus would get 12 seats that is congress plus could get 12 seats that's the way it's looking earlier on mind you it was dominated by congress this time around the tides have changed uh, earlier on if you remember i had said congress had got 15 seats in upa and bjp had got nothing ai dmk had 12 seats this time around uh, uh, numbers change ai dmk uh, at plus getting 18 seats upa that is congress plus getting 12 seats so that's uh, that's the thing that's what the the story looks so somewhere down the line if you remember <clears throat> i had said there are three people who stands to win in this in this election or lose in this election one of course narendra modi narendra modi i had said that if mr narendra modi manages to get more than 100 plus in west bengal he is definitely made a mark in west bengal that be a huge success for him so according to opinion poll it looks as if that's happening uh, i had said that if narendra modi manages to get some numbers up in uh, tamil nadu that will be a good a huge uh, achievement for him that doesn't seem to be happening here kerala same difference bjp was one before is one now according to the opinion poll so even kerala doesn't seem to be happening for mr narendra modi 
Assam, of course, was uh, with uh, uh, BJP. So Assam, yes, that uh, seems to be going the BJP way. And Puducherry, of course, uh, AIDMK, possibly having a chance to win the, 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 the state. So that's the situation currently. So somewhere down the line, a, a West Bengal, not win, but a 100 plus number, fantastic mileage to uh, Mr. Narendra Modi. He will go and BJP will be far, far more enthusiastic and confident when they face uh, Uttar Pradesh next year. So if, if this happens, very good for Mr. Narendra Modi. I had spoken about Mamata Banerjee. What I had told is if Mamata Banerjee actually repeats what she did last time, that is get something around 212, if not 212, at least around 200 or 190, she would be, she would be definitely the prime ministerial phase for the opposition united. She definitely would be the prime ministerial phase because she will come through as a person who has defeated the, the Jagarnath Modi. So that would be a huge thing. I had also mentioned that, you know, something similar is happening with uh, Arvind Kejriwal. Arvind Kejriwal, after the brilliant win of uh, uh, Delhi, has actually catapulted himself to a national leader once again, getting quite a number of pop, uh, uh, votes, uh, seats and popularity in states like Gujarat, in states like Uttar Pradesh, in even in states like Maharashtra, let me tell you, though he has not got seats and all that, but still, he's, he's all of a sudden he is back into the game. So, yes, uh, that happened with uh, Arvind Kejriwal and it could happen in a much bigger way with Mamata Banerjee. This is what I had spoken about Mamata Banerjee and the third person of course I spoke about was uh, Rahul Gandhi. What I said is if UDF wins Kerala, what I said is if uh, uh, AIDMK in Congress does a fantastic job in uh, Kerala, in uh, Tamil Nadu, uh, Tamil Nadu if, it, if they do a good job and if Congress, even a junior partner, if they become the a part of the TMC led West Bengal uh, government, Rahul Gandhi will have a fantastic uh, run. Rahul Gandhi will be back. Nobody will question his leadership. Rahul Gandhi will be again invited to become the president of uh, Congress party and nobody is going to question his presidency. All those G23 and all that is going to come down. I mean, their, all their uh, antagonism and all may come down because they may not have much of choice. But that doesn't seem to be happening the way, at least go, going by the opinion poll Kerala, UDF uh, may not win uh, uh, as they say, but TMC is not getting much of seats, BJP is doing exceedingly well in uh, West Bengal but the chances are that uh, left and uh, TMC may come together to form the part, uh, for form a government, possible, chances are still there but it's not the way when you uh, when you know when 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 you do well uh, in you know in in a particular state it's not really the i think the only party that can claim to be doing well in west bengal if this is the result would be bharatiya janata party though they may not form the uh, government but they would be doing well so yeah i mean if it happens good if it doesn't then we have a problem for rahul gandhi so rahul gandhi have to win kerala rahul gandhi has to win tamil nadu and rahul gandhi has to be in the in the government in Calcutta. If that happens for Rahul Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi becomes the numero uno, undisputed numero uno in Congress party. Now let's talk about Rahul Gandhi. You see, a lot of people spoke about uh, how a good opposition should be. And I completely agree to the views that an opposition should be somebody who actually keeps a check on the government, actually ensures that the institution, cons constitutional institutions, constitutional bodies, constitutional figures, they're all kept in check. They all work for the country, the constitution rather than for one particular political party or the government. So this is, uh, of course, the government's job, but it is equally important that the opposition party also keeps a check on it. And I also agree to the fact that, you know, at times when opposition parties were, were, were hardly opposition members in the parliament during the Rajiv Gandhi time, uh, uh, but the opposition did a fabulous job, uh, did a fabulous job of, of creating uh, you know, a, a strong opposition against the government uh, created, you know, uh, internal rift in the government, uh, 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 pulled out uh, VP Singh, pulled VP Singh out of uh, uh, Congress, created an internal rift between VP Singh and uh, Rajiv Gandhi and uh, they came back and they, the third front uh, formed the government. I completely appreciate that and I agree to it. 
But that being said, what I do not agree to is that, you see, a lot of us expected and expects Rahul Gandhi to be a better Modi. I, yeah, I'm saying what I'm saying. We expect a Rahul Gandhi to be a better Modi. You see, we never allowed Rahul Gandhi or Rahul Gandhi himself was trying to be a better Modi. By trying to give better speeches, by, you know, trying to be a better politician, by trying to be a better parliamentarian. The point is, he is not. He is Rahul Gandhi. He is not Narendra Modi. For the first time, for the first time in the last seven years or even in the last 10 years, even when his government was in power, I am seeing Rahul Gandhi behave Rahul Gandhi. Rahul Gandhi is becoming Rahul Gandhi. He is not trying to be a Modi. He is trying to be Rahul Gandhi. And this is definitely going to make a difference as far as brand Rahul Gandhi is concerned. Now, I am not sitting here and saying, therefore, it will make huge difference to the votes. It will make huge difference to Congress. Congress will come back and all that. All that I am not saying. But I am telling you one very factual thing. You see, there is something called as brand differentiation. You, a competitor to Honda may not always necessarily be another Honda or a bike similar to Honda like a Yamaha. A competitor to Honda can also be a Harley Davidson, which is a completely different bike built completely and, and, and looking at a completely different audience. And that's precisely what Rahul Gandhi is trying to do. You see, what Rahul Gandhi is trying to do is he is trying to defy the way politics is done in India. He is trying to be that youth politician who is being irreverent, if I may use that word. He's, he's showing irreverence to the, the typical khadi clad, topi putting, you know, namaste thing and, you know, going around and, and, and giving lectures. He is doing push-ups with his bush shirt and his, and, his, and his khaki trousers. He's showing his biceps and he's showing his six packs. Now, all that, will it work? Yeah, it may not. But what it is doing is it is clearly carving a brand image for Rahul Gandhi, which is completely differentiating him, himself with uh, Modi. Completely differentiating himself with Modi because the problem is when you compare Rahul Gandhi with Modi. So, you are comparing the strengths of Modi with the weakness of Rahul Gandhi because Rahul Gandhi doesn't have the same strengths of Modi. We all know that. And how much ever he tries to achieve it and tries to better it, he will not be able to do it. But what we also need to understand is Rahul Gandhi has his own strengths which he is showing. He is showing the fact that he can get the youth of uh, 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 India, especially South India right now where he is, to talk about him. Oh, he is a star. Believe me, in Tamil Nadu and all, he has become a star. Now, how much of that transcends into what? We will see. We will see. But the fact remains that he is a star swimming with those uh, with those fishermen, taking selfie with the students, or or, or doing those push-ups with the students, or or going into that uh, YouTube channel. It's a beautiful YouTube channel, you know. They they are this village guys and who cooks food and all. He went into that YouTube channel, did a fantastic show with them. Wow, different. He is differentiating himself. So I think fantastic strategy. For the first time, I am seeing the real Rahul, Rahul Gandhi. Now, let us wait and watch whether India accepts this real Rahul Gandhi as a brand. India wants to follow this real Rahul Gandhi as a brand. And India start trusting this brand Rahul Gandhi. That being said, I still agree that a lot of uh, uh, stuff has to be done by the, uh, the opposition. Opposition is nowhere. There is no opposition whatsoever. So, all that I do agree. But as a brand... This man is doing a good job. Till I see you next time. Namaskar. Hello everyone. HW News English is two years old now. When we started this venture, we promised ourselves one thing. That news should remain free. Because right to know is the right of every Indian. But to keep news free for everyone, we need support from some of you and thus we have rolled out membership on our YouTube channel HW News English. 
but mind you the membership is completely voluntary the programs that we were doing earlier that we are doing now will continue to remain free first level is a basic level here you can be our supporter by paying rupees 199 per month this membership gives you certain perks and benefits the perks include unique batches in front of your name a live show from mr sujit nair and from mr akhilesh bhargava per month for our members you can also vote in some exclusive members only polls now the second level is super supporter here you can be our super supporter by paying rupees 399 per month this membership will include every perk that comes with basic level additionally our super supporters can be a part of a whatsapp group where we can have discussions and suggestions on various topics the second perk includes a gift pack with our merchandise and the third perk is a google meet with mr sujit nair where you can join the meet and ask your questions to mr nair face to face lastly if you like we would give a shout out to our super supporters in our programs so hope to see you soon with our badges the emerging backbone of india's economy are our startups they represent india's youth they represent india's aspirations they represent india's hopes they represent our fight against an insensitive bureaucracy against an insensitive system they represent the fight of our startup and of entrepreneurs against an indifferent system against an insensitive banker against challenges of dealing with the government and against all the odds with which they started a startup every startup begins with a brilliant idea a unique idea an idea which nobody else thought of and that becomes a business enterprise we are starting our next episode series on what we call startup stories it is a curiosity to know what was that idea what was the motivation what was the determination because of which one talented entrepreneur without any background of business perhaps decided to venture out on his own and create a successful enterprise these are the ideas that motivate us also if you have a startup story which is interesting we would want to talk to you also come back to us with your own startup stories and you might also be the person we would like to talk to